Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is David Malamud and I am a forensic accountant and fraud investigation expert. As you know, I've been following the Nicola case quite a bit and I thought one of the things that would be interesting to do would be to dissect Trevor Milton's knee-jerk response. So let's get that started and listen to what uh, Trevor has to say. Oh, I never take any bullshit. Um, I come straight at everything I ever have done. Never back down on anything and whenever someone says something like, oh, your truck is total fake, I instantly... My first question is, how many people have told Trevor Milton that they think his truck is fake? Is this the first time that he's hearing it, or has he heard it before? He ran out to our vehicle, pulled it up, and drove that son of a bitch in front of everyone running alongside of it. You guys. Now, we know already that Nickel has come out and said that vehicle didn't work. It was a promotional video, and it wasn't intended to work, and we didn't mis mean to mislead anybody. I've seen the videos of that. So this one's a little bit different. Um, I, I want to first of all let everyone know that I'm incredibly pissed off too. I don't uh, I don't enjoy seeing you guys get hurt, and I don't enjoy seeing what's going on. It hurts me. It hurts people that I know. It hurts people that follow me and families. Um, I want you to know first. So right now it could be that Trevor is looking at his phone, but he isn't actually getting eye contact with the screen. Right now, as you can see, I'm trying to get eye contact with you. Why is Trevor looking down? What is he looking at? Is there notes? Is there something? What's going on there? First and foremost, that um, I'm pissed, and I understand that you guys are too. There's certain times as a leader where you just get shit on, just completely shit on, and you have to take it. There's nothing you can do for a few days. That's it. You just have to sit there as others harm you. And then use that as an excuse to say, oh, look, he's full of shit, he's a liar, he's a fraud. So the allegations have come out. Trevor doesn't know what to do. Knee-jerk reaction is reporting on Twitter his response. And it seems to be a bit of a rant more than an explanation. Whatever, because he's not, he's not responding. Well, listen, I mean, there's a lot more at play at this, okay? So first of all, we went directly to the SEC. Um... And we provided a... Four Trevor says that they went directly to the SEC, but was that after the Hindenburg report came out and they knew that it was inevitable that the SEC would be knocking on their door? Or is it that as soon as the report, Trevor Milton said, we got to go to the SEC? Formal call with them. We've been over it this morning already. We let them know. We went to them. They didn't come to us. We let them know about all the allegations. We, you know, we went through it all. They're aware of, of uh, some of the reports and the information. But we went through the different information about us, and we're providing them a whole entire packet and docket. And ultimately... That entire packet or docket that Trevor's talking about is Hindenburg report at 43 allegations. And the package responded to 10 of those 43. What we found was some really bad shit by this uh, person who's uh, created the report. And this is what he does. Look, this how he makes his money. He lives on the borderline, okay? So what he does, he gives you a little bit of, little bit of like, some truth from some employee that has no bearing or importance or the guy's just pissed off or whatever, and he mixes it in with all these lies, and he says, see, he's a lie. Something I find interesting about this is that Trevor Milton is admitting that at least some of what these guys are talking about, and I believe when he talks about these guys, he's referring to the Hindenburg research, but he says some of it has some truth to it. Liar. He's a fraudster, so therefore... So therefore, because I mixed a little truth in over here in this one thing, all the rest of these things are... Trevor just said that he mixed in a little truth over here. Does he mean that that is what Hindenburg did? Or does that mean that's what he did? True, and we know that's, that's not. Um, they're lies. Every single thing in there was bullshit. Um, I have all the rebuttals done. Again, I'm hearing lots of swearing. Lots of discussion about rebuttals. All the rebuttals are done. So if all the rebuttals are done, where are the other 33 allegations of the intricate fraud? Why have only 10 been answered? It drives me nuts that I can't send them out to you guys. But um, look, I want you to know that it sucks. It hurts. I know. I'm super, I'm super mad. And there's nothing I can do about it for a little bit, okay? You got to give me some time. So a, C a chairman is telling me, the founder of the company is telling me and telling you, that there's nothing that he can do for the time being, and you just have to hold on. In terms of, of my investment, if I was an investor, I'd be extremely concerned. And my concern really is, well, how long do I have to hold on? Because that stock is starting to get quite rocky. 
time is not in my hands, it's in the hands of the attorneys in the SEC. So let them do their part for just a little bit. I know it's going to hurt, but when we come... Trevor makes reference to let the SEC just do their stuff, which is going to be a little bit. The investigation that's going to go on likely is not going to be a short investigation. I think that it's wrong to believe it is. There's documents that are going to be requested and required that have to be reviewed. There's interviews that are going to have to be done. There's engineers that are going to have to be brought in. So this is not just a quick investigation. Come out of it, everyone will be like, listen, for my language, fuck those people. They're shitty people. All this was lies, and it was slander against Nikola to make hundreds or tens of millions of dollars of profit on short selling. Again, that swearing to me concerns me. Why is he swearing? Why is the CEO have such a foul mouth? But I can tell you right now that they are lies. 99% of them are all lies. They're so something interesting that Trevor says is 99% of them are all lies. Is Trevor saying that 1% of it is truth? There's a little bit of truth mixed in there when it comes to like... There he goes. He talks about the little bit of truth. Disgruntled employees or whatever. No doubt. We got some people that, you know, we had to fire. And they're bad people. They're just bad people. But they're not telling the whole story. So I will. You just got to give me a little bit. Trevor's asking to give you a little bit of time. The little bit of time was potentially for his resignation and for his disappearance on Twitter. Trevor, where are you right now? And uh, if I could do it right now, I'd hit that damn button and I'd do it. But ultimately, it would be more damaging to everyone. Even though it would reverse things right now, it'd be more damaging for everyone in the long run. Because Trevor feels that he has enough information right now that would reverse the allegations put forth by Hindenburg. If that was true, why is Nikola not coming out with a large report either denying or accepting those 43 allegations to make it the intricate fraud? Because of the fact that we need to bring these people to, we need to hold, hold them responsible. And for the company's purpose, we need to attack one time very clear, with clear, precise answers, with evidence, with backup, with e Trevor talks now about attacking one time. However, the response has only been 10 of the 43 allegations. Does that mean that that is it in terms of their rebuttal? Or does it mean that it's going to go in tranches? Emails with copies of documents, of contracts, everything you can think, you know, those things need to be in there and done right and they have to be approved. So I just want to let you guys uh, know that this morning, I won't be, I'm not going to be on as much as I am, um, you know, answering questions. I'll just have now, when Trevor says he's not going to be on, really what he means is in a few days, I'll disappear. So that was the Trevor Milton interview, and hopefully you got some insight in terms of eye contact, in terms of language used, in terms of repetition. Uh, there was some admittance of, you know, that there is some truth to the allegations. Right now, we don't know how much truth there is to the allegations, but, you know, according to Trevor, at least 1% of it is true. And we're going to have to stay tuned to see if Trevor reemerges or if he's disappeared and the limelight will go on uh, the new uh, chairman of Nicola to see if he can drive through these tough times for them. Again, my name is David Malamed. I am a forensic accountant and fraud investigation expert. If you found this video exciting and interesting, please don't forget to like it below and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to keeping you up to date with stories like Nicola and others that are in the current events, as well as I report regularly on fraud topics and on past files that I've worked on. So if you find this interesting, please subscribe. Thanks again. Have a great day and God bless.